coming up on 515 here on your Monday morning. That's case of the Mondays, right? <laughs> A bit. Liz is also a little bit upset. She now hates the state of Kansas, yes. apparently. Oh. Why? The North Carolina girl. Oh, oh yeah. boy. Ryan hates Flor or, uh, is upset about Florida, Florida. State. You're upset about yeah. that. I'm upset about Mizzou. Are you upset about anybody? I, I'm, I'm happy. She's I'm good. upset that it's 5.16 <laughs> if she's awake on a Monday. <laughs> Let's get you caught up right now what's going on outside. Over the weekend, of course, we did have some rain pass through Saturday night into Sunday. Didn't bring us as much as we expected or what we wanted. But for those of you that hated the rain showers and wanted to have just a completely clear weekend, you're going to like this week. Right now, you can see Guardian Radar scanning and not finding really any precipitation anywhere that's going to alter your Monday morning. We're also finding very nice mild temperatures out there, a lot closer to normal. Of course, over the past week or so, we've been dealing with temperatures that are about 5 degrees above normal for those lows. But right now, right on schedule here, 60 degrees for Orlando, as well as Daytona, about 55 Gainesville and Ocala, 63 for Leesburg, and 59 down in Melbourne. For the rest of the day, you can expect a gorgeous day out there. We're talking big sunshine and low dew points, which means of course, it's going to feel a lot less humid. Anytime the dew point is under 60, it feels pretty nice to the human body. And you can see there, we're under 60 pretty much all over our viewing area. Today's not going to be a very windy day for most of the interior sections, but for the coastal regions, you could see some gusts today between 15 and 20 miles per hour, so keep that in mind. Right now, most of our winds are really steady. Seven, of course, for the Sanford area. Three for Kissimmee. Calm winds right now in Orlando. But tomorrow, most of us will get some of those winds in advance of that of cooler air moving in from the front. This morning, you can see here, 59 degrees for that bus stop forecast. Many kids returning to school after spring break. I know. Wipe the sleep out of your eyes. The good news is you won't need a heavy coat or anything. It'll be very mild out there. And then, of course, this afternoon, things will look really nice. I'll be warming up. And our highs later today will be in the 80s, which is much better than what they were earlier. You can see there the beach. Monday, 79 degrees. Sunny skies. Perfect day for spring breakers. No rain predicted whatsoever at the moment. So if you are headed to the beach, expect very pleasant conditions. And tonight, mostly clear skies, about 60 degrees out there near normal temperatures and of course the winds are going to start to shift to the northeast and that's going to really take hold of us. You can see here that big low pressure of course moving off and we're not really going to see any effects of any rain for the next 24, 36, 48 hours. Looks very, very, very clear here but once our winds start to shift to the northeast we could have a slight chance for a few coastal showers as we go Tuesday into Wednesday so of course you'll want to keep that in mind. The next seven days for the most part look very clear. Lots of sunshine in the forecast. Remember breezy there on Tuesday for the most of us. Today, just breezy for the coastal regions, but overall, looking great. We could have a storm system move through Sunday. We'll talk about that a little bit later. For now, here's Ryan Harper.